Well, it is September 3rd, and you know what, folks? I just have to bring you the latest batch of Nintendo Switch 2 rumors, leaks, whatever you want to call them. Of course, none of this stuff is verified in any possible way. There's no way I can verify a lot of this stuff. However, a special note is I did reach out to some of my developer friends. I don't have that many, to be clear. It's only like two, maybe three, maybe two and a half. We'll put it at two and a half because the third one I, I barely ever talked to. I just want to point out that I have heard a single thing about this system, and I'm not really sure what that means for these rumors and what this means for the leaks, but we're going to discuss all of this and dive deep into it. And the first thing that we're going to obviously talk about is this thing that appeared publicly yesterday and the day before, and that is that the Amiibo packaging has changed. Now, before we dive into that and, oh my gosh, some more stuff, including potential VR, just to remind you that, hey, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate it if you would drop a like, maybe comment down below as well, letting me know what you're most excited about for this platform, and ring a -ling that ding -a -ling so you get notified of all of our future videos. All right, so what are we talking about with the Amiibo packaging? Well, Nintendo's been restocking and redoing Amiibo, and we talked about how some people are sort of relating this to something Smash Bros. related, possibly being announced at the Nintendo Direct. But what's interesting is that some of these Amiibo are now being sold, and the back of the packaging has changed. So the original back of the packaging would tell you basically the platforms and maybe even some of the software that these Amiibo are part of or could be used in. So you would see the 3DS, the Wii U, and yes, the Nintendo Switch listed on the back, and sometimes you'd have a game like Super Smash Bros, or maybe it's a Kirby and the Forgotten Land, or, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, right? You, you would have, you know, specific games mentioned. The new packaging for the exact same Amiibo now just says you can use Amiibo with compatible software and completely removes mentions of specific software, but more importantly, it removes mentions of specific hardware. Now, this normally would just mean not a whole lot, except that we are towards the end of the Nintendo Switch's life, and the Wii U's obviously been discontinued, the 3DS has been discontinued, so many people are speculating that this is a sign that Nintendo is future-proofing their new or restocked Amiibo releases in order to prepare for new hardware and just not make mention of hardware on the package so as not to confuse people that this wouldn't work on the new hardware, because if you have packaging that has Switch, Wii U, and 3DS on the back, but it also works with Switch 2, then, you know, not having Switch 2 listed on the back could confuse consumers. So instead, remove all of it and just say it could be used with compatible software, especially if Amiibo functionality is something you plan to basically never get rid of and will just be on all future hardware. So it is a sign, albeit a small one, that Nintendo is preparing to transition to the next system, and this is one of the first official signs we have seen of it. Now, we do have another rumor coming in through the works, and this has to do with Nash Weedle over on Twitter. And look, I don't know if Nash Weedle is an actual insider or not. In fact, the term insider keeps being hotly debated among people if people should even use that terminology or call themselves insiders. Look, if you're in this industry long enough, you're, chances are you're going to make connections Look, I don't consider myself an insider, but you know what? I do have some developer friends because I've been in this and doing this for a long time. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm always privy to information that's even relevant or privy to information at all. I don't ask, or at least I barely ever ask for information. Uh, just once in a blue moon, usually to clarify some things. And the interesting part here with Nash Weedle is he actually does have a bit of a track history of being Correct, he's gotten some things right, but then he also does some things that I don't like about that, and that is tooting his own horn when he's correct. The last insider I remember tooting their own horn every time something they said was correct was Samus Hunter, who we later found out was just stealing the leaks from more credible places, and then, you know, the ones that were credible ended up being right, the ones that weren't ended up being wrong. So I don't know anything about this person. Obviously, they're from a different country, speak a different language. I've never talked to them directly, but they've gotten some stuff correct in the past. And as such, I don't know and I cannot verify if what I'm about to share with you is real or not. So here's what they put up on Twitter, and I'll let you guys discuss it. So they said, the Leak Express, Nintendo already has a prototype in testing for VR glasses, virtual reality glasses. Now, it goes into note, 
The Switch 2 is standalone hardware. Okay, so this isn't like included in the box. This would be like an accessory. Now, the accessory, this this VR glasses would have mixed reality. It's meant for home use and not in theme parks. So this isn't something they're talking about being used at, you know, the, the Nintendo theme parks being opened up by Universal. This is something they're being talked about being used at home. It would have a micro LED display. Now, again, I'm pretty sure they're talking about the VR glasses themselves having their own displays rather than the Switch. And then, surprisingly, Google is involved in some way in development, which may or may not be that surprising. Nintendo does use Google's servers and services for a lot of their online stuff. And you know what? They did develop VR glasses at one point that never really made it mainstream or got to market, but it could be something Nintendo may be willing to partner with them on since Google has done a lot of research and investment into it. Now, we have seen various patents from Nintendo surrounding VR and people wearing their own glasses and some people using their phones and a system being docked and all of that. So we have seen Nintendo do this. And and, and as original, you know, they've been testing prototypes of VR. That's not really... I mean, look... On the surface, it is totally believable that Nintendo has VR glasses, VR headset prototypes that they have tested. Absolutely. But to have knowledge of this outside of the inner workings of Nintendo would suggest that these prototypes have gone out to third-party developers or other people. And I'm going to say I haven't heard anything, and I don't think anyone else has really heard anything in regards to VR. That doesn't mean that there can't be VR. Some people assume maybe Nintendo would have VR as a optional accessory to this. And so I'm not going to rule this out. And Nintendo did do Labo VR and maybe they're looking into some sort of VR thing as an accessory down the line for this next system. Again, I'm not going to rule it out. I just find it strange that anyone would really have this sort of direct knowledge of it. But, it, you know, it is what it is. And then this is where I get into what I heard. So I reached out to some of my developer friends just to be like, hey, you know, what's going on? Have you really heard anything? I'm not looking for new information, right? I'm not, I'm not fishing for you to start telling me all the exact details and what the specs are. I just look, there's a lot of rumors swirling out there. And I figured with all these rumors swirling out there, now's the time to just sort of see if any of it could be verified. And... A couple of things uh, and from none of the people I talked to that I hear anything about VR. Again, none of them said it won't have it, but it's just not, it's not part of the dev kits, right? So if it is something that's coming, it is something that is definitely not being advertised or pushed to these developers. Uh, and really the biggest thing that I heard consistently with everyone I talked to was the power. Now, I don't want you guys to oversell or overthink this. Again, I have now heard this from at least four different developers, two of which I, I, I know pretty well. The other two, I, you know, I don't know them as well. But I just want to emphasize that this is an approximation Nobody is telling me exactly what the specs are. Even though one of them in particular would, would probably know. The Switch 2, from a power perspective, this is just what I've been told, is on par with a PlayStation 4 Pro. Take that to mean whatever you want. I have no idea. We've talked about before. It possibly be in a PS4 and then in docked mode, the PS4 Pro. I haven't got any clarification on if it's in handheld, it's a PS4 Pro. Because if in handheld, it's a PS4 Pro and then you dock it, it's more than a PS4 Pro. So I I don't know. And I'm not going to begin to speculate on this and what the T239 is capable of and blah, 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 blah. This is just what developers have consistently told me that, you know, some of them, you know, hearing about games and or working on games for it is just, damn, that's good. That's good. Again, I don't have anything beyond that to share. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to get your thoughts on this down in the comments below. And you know what? We have uh, another week of news and headlines and stuff ahead, so I can't wait. And I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>